Hey, Ross, sauce no, it up. No, I can't focus. She said she like Lil Mosey, I ain't noticed. She in the trunk, I don't care what your vote is. Looking like a model, baby, do you want some roses? Yeah, yeah. No, I can't focus. She said she like Lil Mosey, what's the motive? She want a silly watch, what are you smoking? Say you like queen, baby, I noticed. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't focus. She said she like Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get really smooth 240 FPS renders, recording, stuff like that. Now before you proceed into this video, I recommend having a decent graphics card. Um, you don't have to have an insane graphics card, but I do recommend getting about 400 FPS while recording for this to actually work as well as you will need to have Sony Vegas Pro 18. But without further ado, um, yeah, let's get into it. So for OBS, what we're going to do, first of all, disable preview. So right click this, unless you're configuring stuff here, in this side right here, I recommend disabling the preview. It will give you much more FPS in game. So. On to settings, so none of this matters here. You do the output recording. So for this, uh, you, I'm not gonna make you. Um, I'm not gonna do like a lot of other people do, where I'm just gonna make you like pause the video, do this. It's really inconvenient. I am just going to pretty much just say it by voice, and you can follow along. So type is gonna be set to standard. Recording path, have that set to your videos folder. Make sure that it's in your C drive, because if you do it in your D drive, it can glitch out very easily. Um, so, generate file name without space. Definitely keep this disabled, that would just corrupt it completely. Recording format, set that to MP4, that's the best thing to do. Encoder, set that to NVIDIA NVEC to the H.264 new. And if it's not, and if you can't do that, do the other option. I'm not exactly 100% sure what it's called. I'll uh, yeah, I'm just not 100% sure what it's called. But do the other option. But if you have an Nvidia graphics card, I recommend doing Nvidia Nvenc uh, uh, H.264. And um, yeah, that's the good encoder. Rescale output. Just have that disabled. Custom Muxer settings, just leave that blank. Rate control, set that to CQP. CQ level, set that to 18. Keyframe internal, set that to zero. Set your preset to max performance. Your profile to high. Look ahead disabled, psycho visual tuning disabled. GPU zero and max B frames zero. Audio that does not matter and uh, video. This is this is a key thing. So set your base canvas resolution. Set that to whatever your monitor is. So if you have a 720p monitor, set it to that. 1080p monitor, which is what I have, set it to that. If you have 1440p, set it to that. And 4K, set it to that. Heck, if you have an 8K monitor, go ahead and send it to that. So, um, and now, this is what is very important. Fractional FPS value. Uh, yes, set this to fractional FPS value. Set the numerator to 240 and the denominator to 1. That's the key to getting smooth motion blur stuff. Hotkeys, um, if I don't write- Oh, by the way, for this, I do not recommend playing in full screen. Use window capture, and, uh, I just recommend using window capture, personally. It's what- it, it, Most of the time, if you're using full screen, it will just fully corrupt, which I don't really like to do, so I usually- Usually I like to do- ha I, Usually I like to have keybinds set up, so, uh, that's something that I would recommend to you. Um, advanced? Now. So, process priority, set it to below normal, renderer direct 3D11, 
color format, NV12, color space, 601, and the color range, partial. Um, that's about it for vi so that's about it for uh, OBS. So let's head on to Vegas. Okay, so on to Vegas. First thing that you're gonna do. So I actually have a preset enabled. So what you're gonna do is you have um you're gonna go and you're gonna click. This is Vegas Pro 18. So you're going to pr click uh, Project Video pro Project Video Properties. So for this here, your template is gonna be I rec I already have a template uh, the frame blending template that I use um, so what after you finish all of these settings just press save template name it frame blending template and then yeah it'll just have so you can just click it and it'll automatically apply all these settings so set the width to 1920 set height to 1080 HDR mode off, 360 output, uncheck that, field order none, pixel aspect ratio, you're gonna set that to 1.0000, output rotation, 0 degrees, frame rate, just set it to 240, stereoscopic 3D mode off, you're gonna set pixel format to 8-bit full range, composite and gamma, 2.3, 2.222, uh, Asus version 1.1, Asus color space default, view transform off, look modification transform off. Now, this is very, very crucial. Full resolution rendering quality, set that to best. Motion blur type. Um, usually, I like to have Gaussian, but if you like to have box, that's an option too, but I think Gaussian looks much smoother. Uh, de-interlace method, set that to none, and resample mode, set that to smart resample. I usually recommend starting all new projects with these settings, but we already have a preset that does not matter. So after this, just click save, pre sa click save template, frame blending template, and it'll save there. You are going to click apply, and yeah. So, after you're done editing your video, so say I want to put my video in here, I edit it, and I'm done with all the clips being 240 FPS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to render as. Now I just need to drag a video in here to do that. So go to render as. I already have a template, but you're gonna press cut, so you're gonna find. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find, um, oh, let's see here, you're gonna find the f first one, yeah, the first one, I believe. It doesn't really matter that much, so I recommend doing 1080p, right here, we can customize that. So, what you're gonna do here, so I already have my name, so after you do all this, make a template and name it high FPS, go down to include video, Check enable progressive download. Frame size, set that all the way down below. UHD 2160. That's gonna make it. That's gonna. Uh, that's gonna make it where when you render it, um, it's just gonna upscale to 4K and it looks really good. A allow source to adjust frame size. Profile high. Frame rate 59.940. Field order none. Pixel aspect ratio, 1.0000. Number of reference frames, two. Constant bit rate, that doesn't matter, but you're gonna do variable bit rate. Variable bit rate. Maximum, 240 million. Um, right here, you can just set it to 240 million here. It looks just great. Um, so, 240, 240 million, 240 million. Number of slices, just keep it default. Encode mode, NV encoder, preset, high quality, VBR, just 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 set it to just set it to VBR. And uh, chroma subsampling, uh, 420 bits per pixel, eight. Audio, I recommend setting sample rate to 48,000. 
and bitrate to 384,000. System does not really matter. Project video rendering quality best use project settings. So click OK on all of this, and after you're done, oh, by the way, after you're done, make sure to click Save Template and name it High FPS. That'll basically make it where once you select this, it'll just apply all the changes. What you're gonna do now is just name your video and put it wherever you want to do. And just press browse. And oh, one more thing. Make sure that when you're rendering, I didn't do it this time. R make sure that when you are rendering, basically set like your loop, to, basically set your loop area to everything. So it just, so it does the whole video and not just a fraction. I didn't do that this time, so you're just gonna click browse, put it wherever you want it, make sure high FPS and magix AVC slash AAC MP4 is selected, and then just click render, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So everyone, I really hope you enjoyed, if you did, please do be sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton, and um, yeah, bye guys.